Hey, BookTube, Sean here. Uh, today I want to do a quick little uh, BookTuber shout out video. I'm not gonna talk in great detail. Um, I wanna make this a quick video. Um, but there's a few BookTubers that I've been watching, uh, especially recently, and um, who all have uh, under 500 subscribers and I think they deserve a lot more subscribers than what they have, so. I'm under 200 myself, but I thought I would try and send uh, some of my subscribers their way as well to help them out a little bit because I, I think if you enjoy my content, you will definitely enjoy their content because these are all people who are very genuine in, in their speak. I don't tend to like booktubers who seem to be putting on a YouTube persona. Um, I, I like people who are genuine, like if we were sitting down and talking in a coffee shop, this, it's exactly how they'd be talking to me. If, if we were talking about books in person, that's what I'm drawn to. And uh, if you're subscribed to my channel and enjoy my videos, that kind of tells me that that uh, you're drawn to that same kind of thing because that's how I try to be. I, what you see in my videos is what you get. This is, this is me. Um, so the first one I want to talk about is Books in Five. Now, Books in Five, she's got 92 subscribers. She's, re she's only been at it a few weeks. But I can see her just blowing up, honestly. Um, she has the most unique content I have ever seen for BookTube. What she does is she's an artist as well. So she does illustrations of the things she's talking about. She shows those illustrations while she's talking about the books. And it is just a joy to watch. It is fantastic. Like I said, the most unique thing I have seen ever on booktube so go check out books in five uh next one i want to talk about is sean reads comics uh this sean reads comics he is uh elliot brooks husband and his channel is w w what it sounds like it it's comics comics and graphic novels that that's what he talks about so if you like comics and graphic novels, you will like his content. He's very knowledgeable about the artists and the writers um, of the comics that he talks about. And he has already turned me on to some, uh, some graphic novels that I want to check out. Um, he's got a great video if you are not that into comics and graphic novels or but have been wanting to check them out. He's got a great video about um, comics, for new, comics and graphic novels for first timers. So go and check out uh, Sean Reed's comics. Um, next one I want to talk about is the Driftless Reader. Um, she looks, is actually, when I subscribed to her a week or two ago, she was reading with Robin. So it looks like she just recently changed her name, like within the past few days, because I just watched one of her videos a few days ago. Um, she's at 200 subscribers right now, and she is very natural in in how she talks about books. I really, really get the feeling. She reads um, literary fiction and historical fiction and uh, a lot of that. And I really get the feeling that if we were to sit down for coffee to talk about books, who I see on the video is who, is, is who I'm going to get in person. And that's, pro like I said, the most important thing to me when I'm, when I'm looking at booktubers. I want to feel like we're just sitting and having a conversation. Um, so go check out Driftless Reader, Robin at the Driftless Reader. She also has a Goodreads uh, group for historical fiction. Um, they read a book a month, and hopefully I'll be able to join in on one of those soon. Um, next person I want to talk about is Beautiful Pages. She's at 204 subscribers, and she, from what I get from her accent, is from the UK, from her dialect, and I can listen to UK dialects all day long. I, I love UK dialects, um, but she, t again, reads a lot of literary fiction, and she just is genuine in, in how she talks about it, and she's got a lot of great insights uh, about the books she reads and talks about, and I just really enjoy uh, watching and listening to her talk about the books that she reads. I think she's great. Um, that's beautiful pages. So go go on and uh, and and give her give her a watch. Give give her a subscribe. Next person I want to talk about. It blows my mind that she is not already over a thousand subscribers. Honestly, 
she's been at it a little bit longer than I have, probably a month or so longer than I have. Um, I know we were newbies right around the same time, I think. Um, and you've heard me mention her before, but Courtney at Cortagonist. Um, she is just a ball of energy about the books she reads. You really, her passion comes across so great about, especially about cozy mysteries. She reads a lot of cozy mysteries and that's my, those are my guilty pleasure reads. So I think it's awesome to see a booktuber talking about cozy mysteries because nobody ever talks about the cozies and she just, she loves them and the, to see her reaction to the punny titles is, is worth an entire video. Honestly, Courtney is just, just fantastic. And I, like I said, I don't get why she's, she's at 297 right now. So she's almost at 300 mark. So stop watching me, go subscribe to her. My, I'm almost done talking anyway. So go subscribe to all of these people. They're all just fantastic, genuine booktubers, um, who just have a passion for the content that they're talking about. And outside of Cortagonist and Sean Reed's comics, I've all, I discovered all of them, uh, probably within the last month. Um, so that's it for me. Uh, go check out these booktubers and I wish you all good reading and I'll see you all in my next video.